Hey everyone. So today we are going to talk about spanning set, one of the very important concept in vector space. And these are the six things that we are going to see. First, we will see the definition of a spanning set. Then we will see that if S is any subset of a vector space V, then its span is always a subspace. Okay. Then we will see that span of S always contains the set S. Then we will see that if your S is a subspace, then if you take its span, then you get the same subspace. Then we will see that span of span of S is again the span of S. And span of S is the smallest subspace that contains S. Okay, so if you take any other subspace that contains S, then it will also contain span of S. Okay, I will elaborate more on this when we will come to sixth point. But these are the things that we are going to see. And I like this topic because the first encounter with this set was very interesting. Because I still remember like when I was doing my masters and uh, I mean I didn't like this subject initially because when I started studying ah what is this vector space, what is this subspace, I hated initially. But then obviously we have to pass so I started studying and uh, in one of the session like I just read this span concept and I went to a lecture and then one of the professor asked that give an example of a subspace. But since I read this topic, what I said was, what I said, said was you take 1 comma 0, singleton 1 comma 0. So this is a vector. Now this is a subset of R2. You simply take the span and it do form a subspace because I just read this concept. So I give this as an example because I was not able to recall any nice example of a subspace since those were my early days. So I just said take 1 comma 0 vector, take its span. That's an example of a subspace. Okay, so yeah, that was one of the interesting encounter I had. Okay, anyway, so now let's come to this thing. First, we will see uh, what is the definition of a spanning set. Okay, so uh, we will have our standard notations. Okay, so my V will be a vector space over say real numbers or complex numbers. You can take over arbitrary field if you know that concept. But okay, V, v is a vector space over real numbers. Okay, and let S be a subset. So V1, V2 up to Vn. This is a subset of the vector space V. Subset, I'm not saying subspace. Okay, then what is span of S? What is span of S? Another rotation is square bracket. So what we do is, you take all possible linear combination of these vectors. That means what? You take a linear combination, C1, V1, plus C2, V2, plus Cn, Vn. And you keep on changing the Cis. So this is what? This is all possible linear combination for the set S. So all possible linear combination collection. We take all possible linear combination, put that in a bucket. That bucket we call span of S. Okay, so this is the definition. Now we will see that why this set forms a subspace. Okay, so why this forms a subspace? Let us try to prove that. So to prove something is a subspace, we prove three things. The first thing we show that it contains a zero vector. Does it contain a zero vector? Answer is yes. Okay, so zero bar belongs to span of S. Why so? Because what is span of S? It is by definition c1 v1 plus c2 v2 plus cn vn where cis are what they are real number you take different different cis you get different different linear combination so now when your cis are zero you take all cis to be zero then what will be this vector it will be a zero vector okay so when cis are zero then the linear combination will be a zero vector will be a zero vector okay so therefore zero bar belongs to span of s so great this is a non-empty set what is the second thing you do you take two vector so let v bar comma u bar belongs to span of s and you take alpha to be a real number your scalar what you need to show that alpha v bar plus u bar belongs to span of s so here I am taking vector addition as well as scalar multiplication in one shot. 
those who are not comfortable with this they can first show that the addition belongs and then they show that the scalar multiplication belongs but that will take time so i'm doing scalar multiplication as well as vector addition at one shot so this is what we want to prove okay so now what we have we have v bar and u bar in span of s now what is span of s how does an element in span of s looks like an element in span of s is a linear combination so if v bar is in span of s how my v bar will look like it will be some say d1 v1 plus d2 v2 plus dn vn where di is our scalars how my u bar will look like some say m1 v1 plus m2 v2 plus mn vn right so now what i want to show that i want to show alpha v bar plus u bar is also in span that means this vector should be also some linear combination of v1 to vn okay about linear combination i have already done one lecture if you have missed that you can find the link in the description okay so now question is is this vector again a linear combination of v1 to vn let's try to see that what is alpha times v bar so alpha will get multiplied so alpha d1 v1 plus alpha d2 v2 plus alpha dn vn plus u bar m1 v1 plus m2 v2 plus mn vn now you can take out v1 outside so this is alpha d1 plus m1 into v1 plus alpha d2 plus m2 into v2 plus alpha dn plus mn into vn okay is this a real number is this a scalar yes alpha is a scalar d1 is a scalar m1 is a scalar so addition of this is again a real number so let me call this as c1 so this is c1 v1 plus here you have alpha d2 plus m2 which i am calling as c2 so this is c2 v2 plus cn vn so therefore alpha v bar plus u bar is again a linear combination of v1 v2 up to vn therefore this quantity belongs to span of s okay so therefore span of s do forms a subspace now the third thing is if you take a subset you take its span then span will always contain that subset okay let's try to prove that what is my s it is a collection of the vectors v1 to vn okay now see is v1 in the span what is span it is collection of all linear combination so can you write a v1 as a linear combination of v1 to vn yes you can write v1 as 1 times v1 plus 0 times v2 plus 0 times vn so you can write v1 as a linear combination of this vector as soon as you are able to write a vector as a linear combination of other vectors that means this belongs to span of s can you write v2 yes 0 times v1 plus 1 times v2 plus 0 times v3 plus 0 times vn so again you are able to write v2 as a linear combination of v1 to vn but whenever you are able to write a vector as a linear combination of v1 to vn that means that vector is in the spanning set similarly you can write vn as 0 times v1 plus 0 times v2 plus 1 times vn again since you are able to write vn as a linear combination of v1 to vn therefore this also belongs to span of s so all v1 v2 v3 up to vn all of them belongs to span of s therefore your s is a subset of span of s okay so this is a very trivial thing but usually people gets uh, stuck while giving a justification okay so your s will always sit inside the span of that set okay now what i said the fourth point the fourth point i said is if your s is already a subspace if your s is a subspace then your s is equal to span of s okay so i want to prove that these two sets are equal already i proved that s is a subset of span s just now a moment ago so what i want to prove now i want to prove 
द अदर वे वेन डू यू से टू सेट्स आर इक्वल वेन ए इज अ सबसेट ऑफ बी एंड योर बी इज अ सबसेट ऑफ ए सो नाउ एस इज ऑलरेडी अ सबसेट ऑफ स्पेन एस विच वी शोड अर्लियर नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू शो द अदर वे नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू शो दैट स्पेन ऑफ एस इज अ सबसेट ऑफ एस वॉट इज गिवन टू मी माई एस इज अ सबस्पेस ओके ओके लेट्स टेट टू प्रूव दिस थिंग सो वॉट यू डू यू टेक अ वैक्टर फ्रॉम हियर यू शो दैट दैट वैक्टर इज इन एस ओके सो लेट वी बार बिलोंग्स टू स्पेन ऑफ एस ना वी बार इज इन स्पेन ऑफ एस सो बाय डेफिनेशन हाउ माई वी बार विल लुक लाइक वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन योर वी बार विल बी सम लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वी वन टू वी एन वेर सी वन सी टू सी थ्री सी एन आर रियल नंबर दे आर स्केलर्स इज दिस एन एलिमेंट ऑफ एस आंसर इज ई एस वाई बिकॉज योर एस इज वॉट इट्स अ सबस्पेस एंड वॉट इज योर एस एंड योर वी वन टू वी एन वी वन वी टू अप टू वी एन ऑल दिस आर एलिमेंट ऑफ एस सो सिंस दिस वैक्टर्स आर इन एस एंड योर एस इज अ सबस्पेस by definition its linear combination will also belongs to s okay so th this implies v bar belongs to s because of this reason s is a subspace and v1 to v1 to vn this vectors are in s so by definition of a subspace its linear combination also belongs to s therefore this linear combination is in s therefore my v bar is in s so i took an element from span and we showed that it is in s so therefore your span of s is a subset of s so s is a subset of span span is a subset of s therefore both the sets are equal when when s is a subspace so if you have a subset s then s is properly contained in span of s if s is a subspace then s is equal to span of s this is the take away from the third and the fourth point okay okay nice now once we have this thing the fifth property is very easy so what was the fifth property if you recall so you have a subset s okay so s is a subset of a vector space v fifth property says you take span of span of s then the answer is span of s why so because what to do is for simplicity let span of s is equal to t let me call span of s equal to t okay now s is a subset we have already seen that span forms a subspace okay or otherwise let me not write down this i know that span s forms a subspace this is a subspace now when you take a span of a subspace what is the answer the same set just now we proved span of s is s provided your s is a subspace my span of s is a subspace so when i take its span i get the same subspace by the fourth property if s is a subspace its span is the same subspace span of s is a subspace therefore its span is the same subspace okay so by fifth property span of span of s is equal to span of s okay so that's the proof for the fifth one and now comes the last one one of the very nice theorems that you come across so what does the last theorem says you have a s which is a subset of a vector space v what i want to prove i want to prove that span of s is the smallest is the smallest subspace of v containing s so you have a subset you take its span obviously s is the subset of span s that we have already seen because every vector is a linear combination so s is a subset of s so span s is a subspace which contains s what we want to prove it is the smallest 
such subset satisfying this property that means what if t is any subspace that contains s then then i want to prove that span is contained in t okay so if you take any subspace t which containing s then it should also contains the span of s okay so that means what this is the smallest one because you take any arbitrary subspace which contains s that will always contain span therefore this is the smallest subspace containing s well the proof is also very easy why because uh so what i want to prove this is the smallest subspace of v containing s okay so let t be a subspace of v containing s okay that means my s is subset of s is a subset of t what i want to show t will also contain span okay now there is a result that i have not proved if a is a subset of b then span of a is a subspace of span of b so since s is subset of t therefore span of s is a subspace of span of t but t is a subspace so when you take a span of a subspace you get the same subspace therefore span of s is a subspace subspace of t so if you take any subspace that contains s that will always contain span of s that means what this is the smallest there is no other subspace which contains s but doesn't contain span okay so therefore span of s is the smallest one so these are the six properties and only this one property i have not proved so i think i should give you this as a homework okay so if a is a subset of b then prove that span of a is a subspace of span of b so you take a vector let v bar in span of a so your a is a1 a2 to an b is say a1 a2 to an comma an plus 1 because it will definitely contain the elements of a okay so you take v bar in span of a so v bar will be c1 a1 plus c2 a2 plus cn an and obviously you can write it further as 0 times an plus 1 plus 0 times an plus 2 plus 0 times am so therefore it is in the span so that's almost a hint try to prove it if you get stuck you can ask me in the comment section so this is all about the span of a subset if this is clear do not forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you